Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I am Abhishek Mukhopadhyay with the Midday News. The headlines. Dates for Lok Sabha polls likely to be announced by election commission this evening. Poll panel asks political parties not to display photographs of defense personnel in ads for campaign. Prime Minister Narendra Modi highlights the role of security forces like CISF at a time the country is faced with a hostile neighbor. Iran asks Pakistan to take action against terror group responsible for the attack on Revolutionary Guard Corps. And in cricket, India win the toss and elect to bat against Australia in the fourth ODI in Mohali. The Election Commission is likely to announce the dates for the 2019 Lok Sabha elections today. The Commission will hold a press conference in New Delhi this evening. We have a desk report. The term of the present Lok Sabha ends on 3rd of June. The Model Code of Conduct will come into force once the Election Commission announces the poll schedule. In 2014, the Commission had announced the schedule on 5th of March to hold 9-phase election. Out of 543 seats in the 16th Lok Sabha, BJP has 269 members at present, followed by Congress, which has 45, and AIADMK, which has 37. Trinamul Congress has 34 members, whereas BJD has 18. 22 seats are lying vacant, as on 6 February this year. Sanjeev Jasotia, News Desk. The poll panel has asked political parties to advise their candidates and leaders to desist from displaying photographs of defence personnel in advertisements as part of the election campaign. The Election Commission has written to the presidents of all parties in this regard. In its letter, the Commission said it has been brought to the notice that some parties are using the photographs of defence personnel as part of the political campaign. The Commission cited its 2013 advisory in which it had said that the armed forces are a political and natural stakeholders in a modern democracy. It said it is necessary that parties and the leaders exercise great caution while making any reference to armed forces. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said the role of security forces like the Central Industrial Security Forces, CISF, becomes very significant when the country faces a hostile neighbour. He said the country's security will become very challenging when the neighbor is hostile and incapable to fight a war. Mr. Modi was addressing the 50th Raising Day Ceremony of CISF at Indirapuram in Ghaziabad district of Uttar Pradesh. You have to be able to do your job. Because when you are very hostile, you have to fight the youth, you have to fight the youth, and you have to fight the youth. अलग अलग प्रकार से गास करने के षडयंत्रों को वहां से पना मिलती हो बल मिलती हो आतंक का रूप गिनोना रूप अलग अलग स्वरूप में प्रकट होता है ऐसी मुश्किल चुनौती के बीच देश की रक्षा देश के संसाधनों की रक्षा सुरक्षा ये अपने आप में एक बहुत बड़ी चुनौती होती है Mr. Modi said the CISF personnel are protecting the country's developmental growth by maintaining round-the-clock vigil. Talking about the routine job of checking individuals, including VIPs, the Prime Minister said there's a need for educating the public about the security aspect. This VIP culture is the most important thing to do with the security culture. And that's why I say that 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 तो आपका काम और मुश्किल हो जाता है और इसलिए ये गोल्डन जुबली ईयर में हम नागरिकों को कैसे प्रशिक्षित करें नागरिकों को इतनी बड़ी व्यवस्था का महात्मा कैसे समझाएं ये मैं समझता हूं एक बहुत बड़ी आवश्यकता है द प्राइम मिनिस्टर कंग्रेचुलेटेड द पेरेंट्स ऑफ द गर्ल्स हू ज्वाइन सीआईएसएफ कार्डर्स he recalled the services rendered by the CISF personnel नॉट ओनली इन द कंट्री बट आल्सो अब्रॉड इन टाइम्स ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटेरियन क्राइसिस in the event organized at the 5th Battalion Camp, the Prime Minister laid a wreath at the Martyrs Memorial. He also reviewed a parade of the CISF and presented the Police and Fire Service Medals for Distinguished and Meritorious Services. CISF Director General Rajesh Ranjan said the force was raised in 1969 and has over 1,50,000 personnel in its ranks. They provide security to vital installations including 61 airports, seaports, Delhi Metro and different steel and power plants. Among others, Minister of State for External Affairs B.K. Singh, Ministers of State for Home Affairs Kiran Rijiju and Hansraj Gangaram Ahir attended the colourful Golden Jubilee function.
Pakistan resorted to unprovoked ceasefire violation targeting forward posts and villages at four places along the LOC in Jammu and Kashmir's Poonch district. A defence spokesman said in Jammu the firing was intense in the Krishna Ghati sector where the Pakistani troops resorted to mortar shelling and firing by small arms from around 4.30 a.m. which was retaliated to befittingly by the Indian Army. He said the cross-border shelling between the two sides continued till 7.30 a.m. There was no report of any casualty on the Indian side. Officials said firing and shelling by Pakistan was also reported from the Balnoi and Mankot in Mendhar sector, besides from Shahapur sector, all in Poonch district, for a brief period in the early hours. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. की जब हुई छुट्टी हम बच्चों ने ये बीड़ा उठाया आने वाले चुनाव का हर पहलू एक नाटक के जरिए समझाया हर नागरिक जो जनवरी एक तक पूरा करेगा अठारह साल वो करवाए अपना रजिस्ट्रेशन हर हाल और हर योग्य मतदाता को चेक करना है वोटर लिस्ट में अपना नाम क्योंकि वही मतदाता वोट देख कर आएंगे जो अपना नाम वोटर लिस्ट में पाएंगे तो समय रहते पंजीकरण करना और वोटर लिस्ट में अपना नाम चेक करना भू लेना एक महादेव एक भी वोटर छूटे Verify or register on nbsc.in or call Voter Helpline 1956. Bharat Nirvachan Ayog Dwara अरे तो तीन लाख कौन देगा तेरी माँ की लाश के लिए बड़ा बात कर रही है <laughs> बापू देगा नहीं दे रहा है और अब तीन लाख नहीं पांच लाख तक का इलाज फ्री में दे रहा है पांच लाख तक बिल्कुल मुफ्त दिमाग तो ठीक है ना मुमकिन है <laughs> बापू आपके प्रधानमंत्री ने ना मुमकिन को मुमकिन कर दिया है ताकि किसी के बापू को कोई के आगे हाथ न फैलाना पड़े दीदी तो माँ का इलाज मुमकिन है हाँ गुड़िया नामुमकिन अब मुमकिन है पापा हमारा पक्का घर बन जाने पर नया सामान लोगे ना क्या चाहिए हमारी बेटिया रानी को मेरे लिए एक स्टडी टेबल चेयर और किताबें रखने के लिए एक अलमारी हाँ हमारी बेटी पढ़ लिखकर बड़ी अफसर बनेगी क्यों रानी को झूठे सपने दिखा रहे हो अरे ये सच है प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना शहरी स्कीम के अंतर्गत अब हमारे पक्के घर का अधूरा सपना होगा पूरा सच जी हाँ अधिक जानकारी के लिए अपने स्थानीय शहरी निकाय ऐसी सम्पर्क करें हाउसिंग फॉर ऑल सबके लिए घर ये हमारा सपना भी है और संकल्प भी है द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज डायरेक्टेड ऑल स्टेट्स टू फाइल द रिस्पॉन्सेज ऑन द इश्यू ऑफ फिक्सिंग कॉम्पनसेशन फॉर विक्टिम्स ऑफ सिलिकोसिस कॉज ड्यू टू इल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ पोल्यूटिंग इंडस्ट्रीज सिलिकोसिस इज अ लंग डिजीज कॉज बाई एक्सपोजर टू सिलिका डस्ट वी हैव अ डेस्ट रिपोर्ट The Supreme Court was hearing a matter related to rehabilitation of workers who have suffered from silicosis while working in factories in several states. The bench said in its order that the aspect of compensation to victims of silicosis will be considered on the next date of hearing and appropriate orders will be passed thereupon. The top court had earlier asked the Central Pollution Control Board to apprise it of the steps taken to prevent silicosis and to provide workers a dignified and safe working environment. Swati Rakheja, News Desk. The Union Housing and Urban Affairs AUA Ministry has asked the Central Public Works Department to centrally monitor the implementation of the Pradhan Mantri Shram Yogi Mandhan PMSYM scheme which provides pension to unorganized sector workers. The move comes after Labor Ministry Secretary Hiralal Samaria had written to AUA Secretary Durga Shankar Mishra saying there were a large number of unorganized workers concerning with his ministry and that prospective beneficiaries may be informed about the features of the scheme. The PM SYM entails a minimum monthly pension of 3,000 rupees for unorganized sector workers and was announced in the budget for last month. Nagaland launched the first round of immunization as part of the nationwide pulse polio program. One and a half lakh children of less than five years will be given polio drops to sustain polio eradication. During the state-level launch of immunization program this morning, Principal Secretary of Health and Family Welfare Department, I. Himato Zimomi, administered polio drops to children at Naga Hospital Authority, Kohima. 
In international news, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani urged Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan to take action against the Al-Qaeda-linked Jaish ul Adal terrorist group. This comes after recent escalation of tensions between Iran and Pakistan following the deadly attack on a bus carrying Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC servicemen which killed as many as 27 and left 13 others wounded. Two Pakistani nationals were suspected of involvement in the attack. Jaish ul Adal has claimed responsibility for the ghastly attack which happened on a highway in eastern Iran near the Pakistani border. Mr. Rouhani said Iran and Pakistan should not allow decades of friendship and fraternity between the two countries to be affected by the actions of small terrorist groups, the source of whose financing and arms is known to both the sides. News just in, an Ethiopian Airlines passenger jet has crashed on a flight from Addis Ababa to Nairobi, BBC reports. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed tweeted his deepest condolences to the families of those that have lost their loved ones. Details are waited. China has lodged a protest against the United States for criticizing Beijing's policies towards Muslim and Tibetan Buddhist minorities and saying the country was at war with faith. The Foreign Minister's Office in Hong Kong said the speech of U.S. Ambassador Sam Brownback slandered China's religious policies. The ministry said it had registered its dissatisfaction yesterday with the U.S. consulate in the semi-autonomous Chinese region where the speech was given. U.S. officials and U.N. experts say China is believed to be holding one million Uyghurs, Muslims and members of other majority Muslim ethnic groups in political education camps in Xinjiang. The U.S. and other governments have criticized the crackdown. You are listening to the Midday News on All India Radio. दिव्यांगजन अब न रहेंगे लाचार साथ है उनके भारत सरकार दिव्यांगजनों के आर्थिक सशक्तिकरण हेतु दिव्यांगजनों के कौशल प्रशिक्षण के लिए राष्ट्रीय कार्य योजना का क्रियान्वयन किया जा रहा है अब तक 29 राज्यों और एक केंद्र शासित प्रदेश में फैले दो प्रशिक्षण भागीदारों एवं दिव्यांगजन सशक्तिकरण विभाग के राष्ट्रीय संस्थानों तथा एन को लगभग एक करोड़ की धनराशि एक लाख सत्तावन हजार नौ सौ तिरानवे दिव्यांगों के कौशल विकास हेतु आवंटित किया जा चुका है इस योजना के अंतर्गत लाभार्थी को कौशल प्रशिक्षण के साथ साथ अन्य सहायता प्रदान की जाती है जैसे की व्यक्तिगत सहायक और उपकरण के लिए समर्थन पाँच हजार प्रति दिव्यांग वाहन भत्ता एक हजार ऐसी पंद्रह सौ रूपए प्रति माह पोस्ट प्लेसमेंट सहायता तीन हजार रूपए प्रति माह दो से छह महीने के लिए अधिक जानकारी के लिए विभाग की वेबसाइट www.disabilityaffairs.gov.in पर संपर्क करें दिव्यांग जन सशक्तिकरण विभाग द्वारा जनहित में जारी नामुमकिन अब मुमकिन है नमस्ते मेरा गाँव अब समृद्ध हो रहा है वजह है महात्मा गांधी नरेगा में बढ़ी पारदर्शिता और जन भागीदारी अब ग्रामीणों के पास 100 दिन के काम की गारंटी है वर्ष 2014 से 2018 तक एक करोड़ इक्यानवे लाख मनरेगा संपत्तियों का निर्माण हुआ वर्ष 2016 में जियो टैगिंग की शुरुआत की गई। अब तक तीन करोड़ मनरेगा संपत्तियों की जियो टैगिंग की जा चुकी है सोशल ऑडिट से मनरेगा में पारदर्शिता बढ़ी है निन्यानवे मजदूरी का भुगतान सीधा मनरेगा लाभार्थियों के खाते में किया जा रहा है मनरेगा का पैसा भी अब आधार के द्वारा उसके खाते में जा रहा है करप्शन कम हो रहा है इन्हीं सब कारणों से पिछले चार वर्षों में मनरेगा ने नई ऊंचाइयों को छुआ है ग्रामीण विकास मंत्रालय भारत सरकार वेलकम बैक इन क्रिकेट इंडिया विद 64 फॉर नो लॉस इन 10.3 पॉइंट थ्री ओवर्स इंग ऑस्ट्रेलिया इन द फोर्थ वन डे इंटरनेशनल एट मोहाली टूडे वन रिपोर्ट लास्ट केम इन इंडिया लीडिंग द फाइव मैच सीरीज टू वन Earlier Indian skipper Virat Kohli won the toss and elected to bat. The series is the final ODI tournament for Team India before the World Cup which begins in London in May. And now before we close the headlines once again. Dates for Lok Sabha polls likely to be announced by election commission this evening. Poll panel asked political parties not to display photographs of defense personnel in ads for campaign. Prime Minister Narendra Modi highlights the role of security forces like CISF at a time the country is faced with a hostile neighbor. Iran asks Pakistan to take action against terror group responsible for the attack on revolutionary guard corps and in cricket India win the toss and elect to bat against Australia in the fourth ODI in Mohali. And for details of these stories and more log on to our website www.newsonair.nic.in and with that we end the midday news.